things where your feet are Walking in the wee hours Living the good life But if something is off For example, there's a bowl full of eyes on the floor Should I use find me more than I know of a mortal desire only is live here on KCB.
90.3 FM, KEXP. The Fresh and Only's live right here. Really excited to have you guys here. You're, uh, you're definitely one of my favorites for sure. Um, and I, I must say, if uh, Waterfall was my jam years ago, uh, Animal of One is my jam for this summer. <laughs> Sweet, thanks. Um, and uh, looks like you guys just started your tour. Is there any uh, things about being on the road that you like the most? Anything that uh, stands out? Yeah, I like the challenge of uh, not eating fast food, <laughs> especially on our drive, which embarks tomorrow to Billings, which is about a 13-hour drive across the great states of Washington and Montana. So I look forward to the challenge of uh, not stopping it. Uh, they don't have In-N-Out up here or Del Taco. Hardee's. 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 That's old school. <laughs> um, There's other things too, by the way. Yeah. That's not the only thing. About what, what, what else could you, uh, could you tell me? Just friendship, camaraderie. <laughs> Cell phone service. <laughs> the togetherness factor. Labyrinthing, <laughs> Sherlocking, and... Sniping. <laughs> All good ones. Thanks. <laughs> um, let's see. What is uh, what's your process like in writing this album versus some of the other uh, other ones? What's this experience been like? Um, this uh, experience has been um, <laughs> well. Let's say I, I moved to um, the desert for about fifteen months and did a lot of the writing, from initial writing for the album, in relative isolation. Um, I moved there with my family and um, I had my parents there and my lady and my baby and we lived on a horse ranch outside of Sedona, Arizona um, and it offered me a, a new perspective on, on silence and space and I kind of holed up a little bit when it came time to have to get these songs out of me which is usually how it happens, it's very compulsive. This time I didn't have an escape so to speak. Um, from the silence, from the said silence and the isolation. So I think it, it comes across a little more stark um, than uh, our other music. Did you record out there as well? Or? I, I actually demoed um, many of the songs out there. I bought a Fostex digital 8-track from a, a young man in Flagstaff, Arizona, which is the closest semblance of a city. And I bought it off Craigslist, and it, it actually became a really useful tool out there. Nice. Um, so I was able to demo with an acoustic guitar, a drum machine, and a little keyboard and send the demos off to the band and have the ideas further develop in their hands. Cool, right on. So recording was actually, I wasn't living in San Francisco, but I was flying out there um, a couple times to record. And we recorded, we tried to achieve the same collaborative spirit as other albums past, um, but it was hard coming to town on my own schedule when I was able to and having other people's schedules conflict. But we pulled it together finally. Is everyone else still based in the Bay Area or? You guys all over the place? Well, this band, uh, this touring band, we're, uh, Zach's in New York, James is in Denver, and Wyman and myself are in San Francisco. Very cool. Right on, do you have a few more for us? Uh, we do, including your favorite of nice. this uh, summer. <laughs> That'll, you'll have to wait for that. <laughs> Who's 
Plaints Night at Chop Sui. Do yourself a favor and go check them out. Thanks for stopping by, guys. You bet. You Thank bet. you. And uh, you're, you've been listening to live performance by the Fresh and Onlys on 90.3 KEXP, Seattle.